<laughs> you know, so I don't know no. if this guy is gay. Is this guy out? Towns, oh, is, Towns is not gay. Well, well, listen to this for a second. Uh oh. Well, he guy, is like he is like a voice identity. He's definitely crisis. code switching. He's dead code switching. He just. Oh, interesting. That's cool. All right. All right, we can edit this because I don't okay, want to. This, <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing. For Look, code switching for black people is a very difficult thing, right? From a standpoint of this, right? It is difficult. I can't imagine. I, no, no, no. It's like, a lot look, of work. I was born in South Central LA, right? I lived there. My mom went to, to Dorsey High School. Dad went to Inglewood. Like, I grew up in South Central. I now leave to Arizona. It's a very different environment. It's all white. It's all white. It's all white and a lot of Mexicans, right? A lot True. of Mexicans. All my best friends growing up were Mexicans. Like, and so it's like Big you, you're, you're learning to adjust. Like when you're sitting talking with your cousins and your grandmother and your uncle and you're like, that's one thing. You go to school and it's not that you're doing it on naturally on purpose. You're just kind of somewhat trying to like blend into the environment so you don't, it's already difficult enough. And I feel like he just has a trouble, trouble with the uh, switch. That's all it is because- Everybody has it. Like you have, when you're sitting down talking to an executive, how you talk when you're sitting and talking to him is completely different. Sure. Like you're a different version of yourself. Your your voice is different. You don't you're give filtered. a fuck. You're filtered. It's, and it's the same thing, except for black people, we've had to assimilate to a culture that puts us in a spot of like, yeah, how I talk with my boys in the locker room is not how I talk on ESPN. How I talk with like my family member and all my cousins and everybody that are from like South Central, that's not how I talk to all my friends that went to University of Arizona. Mm. It's and so I feel bad for our boy Cat because like He's just not good at it, but I don't think he's doing. I've seen his contract. Wrong. I don't feel too bad. I, that's for what him. I'm saying. I don't feel that. He's doing bad all right. He's doing all right, but he gets a lot of shit, and it's like, like he also he, talks a lot of shit, though. I mean, there was that podcast clip of him being like, "I changed. The, I'm changing the game and stuff." Mm. There's bravado. I mean, you bring more of that attention when you're saying that, and he's having a good year. Well, this is the problem. We're fucked up. <laughs> the level, no, but I'm saying the level of confidence and arrogance and like irrational confidence and irrational arrogance that you have to have to even get close to being there. Now, do, do scales kind of tip a little bit maybe, but like you have to be psychotic to be like at 12 years old. 10 years old, I want to be in the NBA. Similar. similar. And then you get into, then oh, you're 18, 19, and you're like, I, I, oh, I can do this. And, yes. I'm and so it's like, how the fuck can we tell that man that like, I would oh, say, I would say delusion right. for us, like for comedians, mm -hmm. like you have to be like, I'm telling jokes to strangers in a bar. What, in what fucking world do I think I should get paid for this? It, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. Was, and then when you're young, remember thinking you're like, you have that delusion where you're like, maybe I'll get on Letterman soon. Of course, of course. But you're like, we sucked. You need it. That fuels you.